residential unit sales in the greater Edmonton area are down month over month in comparison to May of 2024, but still up year over year from June of 2023. Travis Harley here with Remax Preferred Choice, your hometown expert. And today I'm here to provide you the latest and greatest from your greater Edmonton area and tri-region real estate markets. Alrighty, so the greater Edmonton area, there was a total of 2,847 residential unit sales in the greater Edmonton area during June of 2024, which is an 11.4% decrease from May of 2024 but still 10% higher than June of 2023. New residential listings amounted to 3,712, which is a 14.2% drop from May of 2024 and 2.6% higher than June of 2023. Overall inventory in the greater Edmonton area increased 1.9% from May of 2024, but still 15.9% lower than June of 2023. The MLS Home Price Index Composite Benchmark Price in the Greater Edmonton area came in at $408,200, increasing 2.1% from May of 2024 and 7% from June 2023. Alrighty, so let's dive into your tri-region. We're talking about Spruce Grove and Stony Plains real estate markets. Getting things kicked off here with the detached single family sector in Spruce Grove. Months end for June of 2024 saw an active listing count on MLS of 135 listings, while there was 94 sales that resulted in the median sale price of about 421,000. Now, the highest sale price that we saw was $985,000, while the lowest sale price in the single family sector for months end for June saw $287,000. Now in the Spruce Grove condo sector, we saw an active listing count of 22 for month's end for June of 2024. There was 11 sales that occurred with a median sale price of about 226,000, while the highest sale price for a condo reported in the month of June was $585,000 on MLS, while the lowest was 130,000. Now let's skip over to the Stony Plain single family market. Month's end for June of 2024, there was an active listing count of 56. Check this out, there was 37 sales that occurred in the month of June with a median sale price of about $410,000. The highest sale price in Stony Plain was $1.255 million, while the lowest sale price for the single family sector, according to MLS, was $330,000. Now in the Stony Plain condo sector, we saw an active listing count of 20, while there was 11 sales that occurred in June 2024 that resulted in a median sale price of about $169,000. The most expensive sale on MLS that occurred for condo sector in Stony Plain was $549,000, while the lowest sale price was $142,000. Now let's take a look at Park Land County, getting things kicked off with the country residential sector. So there's an active listing count of 139 active listings for month's end of June 2024, which is very, very comparable to month's end for May of 2024. There was 46 sales that happened in the country residential acreage market that had a median sale price of about $635,000, which was down from about $700,000 the previous month. Now the highest sale price that occurred in Parkland County in the country res, uh, residential sector was $1.582 million, while the lowest sale price was $210,000. Now, for vacant land sales activity reports through the MLS in Parkland County for the month end of June 2024, there's an active listing count of about 145 active listings. That's down slightly from 150 from previous months. There was 13 sales that did happen that resulted in a median sale price of about $190,000. Now, the highest sale price was $940,000, while the least expensive was $30,000. So there's no doubt about it, the local real estate market remains very, very active. Some would say it's hot, just like the temperatures outside now that summer's officially shown up, but things are doable, whether you are a buyer looking to buy a home in the area or a seller. The important thing is to have a game plan that matches your goals for you and your family to make the move. Right now, it can be very, very tricky to navigate this home market, so therefore it is very important to reach out to me or to your local expert to ensure that you're making the best moves that you can based on the information you know today. That's it for this month's market update. Thank you very much for tuning in. If there's anything I can ever help you with in your real estate journey, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.